Hi, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's really nice to have you guys here. And in today's experiment, we're gonna learn something fun about Miro, okay? So we're gonna be answering three questions about Miro. The first question is, how does Miro work? Okay, so how is it that we stand at the front of our mirror and we, we can see our image? And how is it that we stand at the front of like a wall? We don't see our image or we stand at the front of some like a material like this and we don't see ourselves so what is the difference between mirror and this right why is mirror so special so we're going to answer that question then the second question that we're going to answer is when we stand at the front of our mirror have you noticed that your right is always your left and your left is always your right so what is going on right how does mirror work that mirror is just just flip our image well that is called lateral inversion in physics okay so we're going to answer that question and then the third question to answer is if we have two mirrors okay and like the mirrors are at different angle uh, at each other like like will that angle we change in angle uh, create or uh, more images or less images okay question that we're going to answer today so the first question is how does mirror work okay so let, let, let me just put this aside so that we, we can work with just one mirror okay so mirror works with light okay so if you don't have light in your room your mirror will not work maybe at night then your bulb is not on your mirror will not work mirror works 100 percent with light so so when you have light in your environment okay so let, let's say this is the image um that uh is uh, at the front of the uh, mirror and the mirror is showing this image so what what happened is light from the environment right you no know, like comes in different directions you know because like light is everywhere so, so some light we we eat at the back of this uh um lead then then uh, then they will go back you know like reflect black then some will just go through the edge of this surface um uh, of the, uh, this lead then they will eat this surface then they will go back so when, when they eat this surface then they will go back they will come back to your face that's how you see it right so then the light will, will go all the way then they will trace the structure of this uh, lead then they will all uh, eat this surface come back eat this surface come back that's how we are able to see so uh, mirror works with reflection of light okay mirror works with reflection of light that's how mirror work okay so now the question is how is that this is not able to work the same way and how is that this wall is not able to work the same way because they can also reflect light okay so the two properties of mirror is mirror is able to reflect all light that eats this mirror mirror is able to reflect all of them so like some of the light that hits this surface some of them goes inside this material so that's why we are not able to see the light coming back to our face some of the light that hits this wall we like like go inside the wall right so that's the first thing then the second thing is when the light hits this surface the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection meaning that the light will travel in a well coordinated manner like like in a very like um like the angle that it hits this will be the angle that it it comes up right but when light hits this surface right because this surface is not smooth the light will scattered everywhere so the light that's supposed to come to our face so that we'll see the image is diffused everywhere okay the same thing for the wall when the light hits this wall right the light will just diffuse everywhere and i can show you um example of that so you, you can see this light okay so i'm able to see the um the image in here but when i do this see oh okay so let's quickly put this back um so okay so now when i do this see what happened we can see the light but it's scattered everywhere right so so like the and that so um so the light that hits this surface is just scattered everywhere so that's why 
we are not able to see the um the real image of this light like just like what we see in the mirror okay so two properties of mirror mirror is able to reflect all the light um that come to a surface and mirror is able to uh, reflect the light in a very coordinated way that's why we are able to see the image from the mirror okay again mirror works with light okay okay guys so let's answer the question of when we stand at the front of mirror our right shows our as our left and left as our right so let's use this as um, our example so we can see um this object right there okay so this is supposed to show here in the mirror because this is the right and this is supposed to be right but this is kind of inverted okay so this is what happens when you put your mirror uh, your image at the front of your mirror okay so the light that comes in here to form this side always come here and reflect back to your surface, like your eyes okay so the light comes here and come back to your face right so then the light that kind of uh, make the image of this comes here and fall back to your face so that's why it seems as if right is left and left is right because that is how the light uh, that forms the image you know uh, from the environment right so like so like the light hits this place and come to your face the light hit this place and come to your face so like this ideally this uh, this light supposed to come and form the image here but that's not how light travels light travels in a straight line so the light will come here and just go all the way straight okay so that is why um it seems that our like um, our image is kind of inverted okay. so now the next question that we're going to ask is if we have two mirrors at angle uh, to each other how many images are we going to get from our mirror okay so there is one very nice um formula that i learned in high school and it's it's one of my favorite um physics formula so the formula is 360 over theta minus one okay so so like the 360 you know it's just 360 then the theta is the angle between two mirrors then we have minus one okay so that means if the um the angle between uh, uh, these two mirrors is 180 so you can see it's 180 so that means the image that will be made by the mirror is going to be 360 divided by 180 minus one okay so 360 divided by 180 is two so two minus one is one so when the images are like this so that means we're going to have one sorry when the mirrors are like this that means we're going to have one image and you can see just one image right there okay so now the question is if the mirrors are at angle 90 to each other how many images are we going to get okay so let's work it in the um, formula first so 360 divided by 90 is going to be 4 then 4 minus 1 is going to be 3 so that means if i put these two mirrors at angle 90 to each other we're going to get three images let's try it out okay so let's go so we can, you can see that we have two images already right so that i think this angle is 120 right because if you do 360 divided by 120 you are going to get three then three minus one uh is two so this is at like like angle 120 but let's go to our uh, angle 90 all right so let's move it Let, let's move it closer a little bit more closer more closer okay so let's do our this like this okay so that we don't lose so you can see um i hope you guys can see it let me see we can move this forward more right there so you see this is almost like angle 90 and we can see we have one image two and three right so as the angle reduces more images we form right it, it's kind of difficult for me to, to show you guys because you know i'm doing this in camera but if, if you're able to come in here and take a closer look as, as i close this mirror right more images will be formed so now the the next question is if the uh mirrors are parallel to each other so meaning that there is no angle the angle between them is zero 
how many images are we gonna get, right? So that means our formula is gonna be 360 divided by zero minus one. And we know in math, any number divided by zero is infinity, okay? So 360 divided by zero is infinity, infinity minus one is infinity. So that means if we put the mirror like this, the number of images that will be formed is infinity, it's continuous, continuous. That's why when you stand in front of two mirrors, you know, in, in the bathroom, you, you see your, like, yourself going like forever, right? So that is how that works. So I'll, I'll try to bring the camera closer to um, let you guys see this and so that you'll be able to see uh, what I'm talking about. Folks, and all right guys you see so that is how mirror works so we are able to kind of explain the physics of how mirror works by using light and we're able to explain uh, how many images will be formed uh, when two mirrors are different angle to each other so now anytime that you are in a bathroom that has two parallel uh, mirrors at your front at your back so now you know that oh this is what is going on uh, is uh, this formula 360 divided by zero minus one which means infinity right so thank you guys for watching my video um i have much more nice experiment coming up okay so if you don't want to miss that try to subscribe to my channel uh, and i will see you guys in the next video bye